What is up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Lanky Bar. Woo! Adam, I got a spicy story for you today. I actually brought you some popcorn, Adam. Oh, get your is popcorn. this gonna get pretty juicy? Get your snacks. It's gonna be a lot of drama. I'm about to spill all kinds of tea. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one, guys. Now, I'm gonna tell you the story today, Adam. Is the time when my girlfriend betrayed me. <laughs> Adam, this is a continuation of the online girlfriend story with Amy and X, okay? Oh. Oh, with X, okay. A lot of people in the comments were saying, who is X? Now, in that animation, we gave X an anonymous face. Wait, what did she actually look X like? X was actually, like, pretty attractive. She was pretty tall and, uh, just like, you know, a normal looking person. This is part two of that story. Okay. That story that I told last time, we were in fifth grade. Right? Uh -huh. Now, after fifth grade, we all graduated. We go to middle school, right? That's sixth grade, right? Yeah. Now, Amy actually ended up going to a different middle school, so she was gone. She was out of my life. Uh -huh. Oh. Back then, hey, back then I didn't have no Instagram, I didn't have no DMs. You didn't have any friends? True! I had no <laughs> self-confidence. But X went to the same school as me. The same middle school. In elementary school, you're in a class with your grade. Like uh -huh. it's third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. Middle school, you start to take classes with older kids. So there's like a bunch of like tiny sixth graders and some like scary eighth graders in the same class. Exactly. Like oh. the cool older kids and you're like, hey. <laughs> you remember when you had lunch in middle school? There's like the nerds. That's me. All the little sixth graders. And there's like the cool old older kids that like hang out together. Uh -huh. I was friends with X who, if you guys remember, was a year older than me. Oh. So I actually sat with her at the cool kids table sometime. Now uh -huh. a lot of the cool kids were like, what is this kid doing here? Why does he keep talking about maple syrup? <laughs> but it was cool. I got to sit at the cool kids table because she was older and I kind of knew her. Uh -huh. right? So X and I, you know, we're friends. I was just chilling. I was trying to find my way through middle school. Now I'm gonna be real for a minute. Okay, middle school is a very sensitive time in people's lives. You know, people are starting to form an identity, a uh -huh. sense of self. I didn't really know who I was. I didn't have that many friends as of course, okay? No <laughs> girls are into me. What's right? new? <laughs> what has what? changed? That did. <laughs> X was one of my closer friends. It was somebody that I really trusted, and she let me into her cool table. I was like, wow, uh -huh. like, this person is close to me. Now, there were some strange signs I noticed along the way. Again, young Justy has no idea what's going on with girls, but there were some signs where I was like, what is this? What is happening? I had a small group of friends, mostly guys. We're all nerds, you know, chilling, playing on the computer and stuff, and we went to go see a movie. X invited herself to come along. I was like, oh, like, you know, that's She fine. would be the only girl that went? Yeah, and she's older than us by a year. Huh. I was like, oh, that's fine, right? That's chill. And so we get to the movie theater, and somehow, I don't remember exactly how, she convinced us. She was like, there's not enough seats in this row. Me and Justy are gonna sit here. You guys sit in the row in front. Oh, it's like an empty theater. Yeah. All your friends are like, uh. <laughs> Again. We all were just completely shy, didn't really know. We were introverted. We were like, oh. So you yeah. didn't realize that she was clearly hitting on you? No, no, <laughs> I did not think that. No. We were all just like, oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We just went along with it, right? Uh -huh. We were like innocent. We didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Then I remember this other time. Do you remember middle school dances? Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> This right here is the king of middle school dances. I don't want to dance. <laughs> a lot of stuff went down at middle school dances. At ours, it was literally like a bunch of like sixth graders all dancing, but a bunch of adults were standing right next to them and you couldn't touch each other on the dance floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we had like yeah, literally yeah. been like, hey, break it up! I actually, this is not a joke at all. I actually won an award <laughs> at my middle school dance for the weirdest dancer. <laughs> That's not a joke. Wow, I'm jealous. Yeah. Good job. I never went to a school dance, but X would always come up to me and be like, hey, you should come to the next dance. You should come to the next dance. And I thought she just did that to everybody. Uh -huh. You know, because she was like a pretty outgoing person, pretty social, and I was introverted. Again, I did not see the obvious signs here. Uh -huh. I was just like, I'm not going to these dances. <laughs> no, I actually did go one time because she put so much pressure on me to go. Uh -huh. I went once and I was just so uncomfortable the whole time. Uh -huh. I was just sitting there on the side. Just watching people dance. Well, I don't know how to, I still don't know how to dance, <laughs> honestly. Uh -huh. I was very uncomfortable. I was like, man, why did I do that? And it was just because this person had pressured me into going. Now, those were just two instances where there was something obvious going on, but I just didn't know what was going on. Uh -huh. And I remember I was hanging out with my friends, all those guys playing video games, and people were like,
like, oh, what's going on with you and X? Uh huh. And I was like, we're just friends. I genuinely thought we're just friends. I was just inexperienced. I didn't understand what was happening. Uh -huh. So I was like, oh, nothing. We're just pals, right? And they're like, don't you think it's a little bit weird? Now, there was a third instance, and this was the game-changing betrayal, okay? Now, to set this up, I will be telling this in a future story about this girl that I had a crush on. So there, to clarify, there's me, there's X, and now there's another girl that I had a crush on. Oh, so during this whole part, you liked another girl? Yes. Not I, X? No. Oh, I thought we were just friends. So I'm gonna tell the story of how me and that girl actually ended up dating in one of the next animated stories. But at this time, X was my only friend who was a girl. I had this crush on this other girl. Her name was Sarah. And I remember I went up to X one day. We were sitting at the lunch table. I remember this so clearly. And X kept trying to tease it out of me. She's like, what's going on? I was like, oh, like I think I like this girl, whatever. And X was like, oh, who is it? Now I realize X thought I was talking about her. <laughs> ultimately, I told her, I was like, oh yeah, it's this girl, Sarah. And I remember her face just totally changed. It went from being like, oh yeah, tell me. Like, oh, this is so fun to being like, it's like me when I realize he spent my money. <laughs> I'm like, hey, hey, who authorized this? Not me. Not me. Definitely not me. Okay, okay. So X found out you like Sarah, and oh. she was just, just totally changed. Because she, she thought it was her the whole time. So, oh. and so I remember her face totally changed and she looked she goes wait so you don't have a crush on me and I was like no and she goes well then what did I break you and Amy up for? <laughs> wait why that's what she said to my face she admitted that to you she said it to my face I looked at her I said <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> she said that to my face she said, well then, what did I even break you and Amy up for? That's so cold. I was deceased. <laughs> now, a lot of people in the comments of the previous video had guessed that this was why she done it. Uh huh. After that, she just never talked to me ever again. She never allowed me to sit at the cool table again. Well, I mean, I didn't really want to talk to her at that point because I realized like, wow, I got played. Yeah. I remember after she told me that, I remember for the rest of the day, I just felt sick. Like, I just wanted to go home. My chest hurt. I was so confused. Because I realized, like, wow. I had this awesome relationship with a girl named Amy. And I got broken up with because of this person who just manipulated me. Yeah. Straight up manipulation. You actually, I mean, it's probably smart. Because you could have actually accidentally dated her. Yeah. And had, like, a really messed up relationship. Yeah, that would have been crazy. That would have been even worse, honestly. Yeah. But, yeah, guys. Now, I'm going to get a little bit serious for a minute. A lot of our viewers out there who are at a sensitive time in their lives, that's not just age. Like you could be in middle school or high school or college. You could be going through things. You could be finding yourself as a person. It is very easy when you are in a period of searching for who you are to be manipulated. You know what I mean? And I look back on this story now and it's like, ha ha, he he, like whatever. But the key here is it was because I did not listen to myself and how I really felt. Because the whole breakup with Amy was due to X coming in uh -huh. and playing with my head. Yeah. If I had just not listened to her, I said, no, I'm gonna trust myself, I would have stayed with Amy. And it was the same thing with all these like events. If I just been like, hey, I don't really wanna go to a dance, I'm not gonna do it. If I had just hadn't caved into peer pressure, I, it would have been fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like on one hand, I'm like, look, I got manipulated. I got bamboozled pretty hard. <laughs> on the other hand, I'm like, you know, I should have believed in myself and trusted my instincts a little bit more. So to everybody out there at home, a little heartwarming message to everybody, okay? Be true to who you are. Don't get manipulated by sneaky people in the DMs. <laughs> I would have been crushed at the end of the story if it hadn't been for my really small circle of friends. Uh-huh. Because the ones that you pushed off at the movie theater. I didn't push them off. X <laughs> did it. It wasn't me. The ones at the movie theater, Justin's like, oh, okay, go away. Just take some pocket more just go over there. More for me. <laughs> but actually, though, I'm actually really excited for this Sarah story. Guys, part three of this story is coming soon. It what? sounds intense. It's pretty crazy. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see that and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And now we got to clean up this popcorn, man. But Oh, oh, now that we're friends, we can clean it up together. Oh, yeah. And maybe hug and sing songs while we do it. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we yeah. go. Hey, what's that over there? What? <laughs> <laughs>